Hello, this is Eric from Axis. Today we're going to talk about modifying the chain tolerance from the chain manager. On my screen you see some wireframe created from a surface model. Unfortunately, this wireframe has gaps more than the Mastercam default chaining distance of one-tenth. This is going to give me problems. I'll use a simple wireframe contour cutter path, select a chain, notice I have both a green arrow and a red arrow. It did not chain closed. I'll select a tool, something from the library, in this case a quarter inch ball, and green check. I've got a cutter path, but as expected, because of the green and red arrow, I have a big hole. We'll run it through backplot just to see if there's any other problems inside of this particular cutter path. It appears my comp is good. The cutter appears to be following the wireframe as I would expect it to. This cutter path is doing everything I want it to do except cutting the whole wireframe. So I'm going to modify it. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to my, go to my geometry tab, go to my chain manager, and in the lower right hand corner there is a box that says chaining tolerance. I'm going to increase this a little bit, select chain one, right click, and then select rechain all, and then make my chain selection again. Notice this time with the looser tolerance, I was able to chain the whole part. Regenerate the cutter path. I now have a closed chain cutter path. We'll run it through backplot just to make sure. Again, nothing has changed inside the cutter path. It's still comped right. It still follows the wireframe as I would expect it to. The only difference is this time it cuts the complete contour. And done. Just so you see that the gap is still there. The tolerance has just been increased. There's a picture of it. That's all there is to it. Mm -hmm.